Hello, welcome to section 7, C Sharp 7 features. Let's see what we are going to learn in this section. In this section, we will talk about ref return and local. We will learn about pattern matching and we will also learn about local functions in C Sharp. All of these are newly implemented in C Sharp 7. In this video, we will talk about ref returns and local. In this video, we will learn what is ref, how we can return a ref object, how we can store a ref object to a local variables. We will write some example code and try to understand these concepts clearly. Let's first talk about what is ref. So ref is a keyword. This is not something new in C Sharp 7. It was already implemented before. So ref keyword is actually used to pass objects as reference type in methods instead of value types. Changing a ref variable in a method will update the original memory location. So what is ref return and local? Returning a reference of an object is new in C Sharp 7. It means a method can return reference type. Reference types can be stored in ref local variables. These are special kind of variables which are mainly used to store the methods return type uh, which are reference type. Now let's jump into our IDE and see some code. So here we have our ref return app. This ref return app has a one class called program and this class has two methods in it. So let's first see this method add benefit. So this method is a public static method but the return type is little interesting. It is a ref integer. It means the method will return an integer type of object but as a reference. And if we see here, this method is also taking one parameter as reference type. It means this if inside the method, if we change this variable, then this will also be changed in the original position. It will also update the memory. So let's see what is inside this method. So here first what we are doing is we are adding 100 to bonus and then we are adding salary with bonus and storing back into salary and at the last statement we are returning the salary as a reference so now let's see what is written in main method so in main method we have two variables one is employee salary one is employee bonus now then we are calling this method now if we see this line then we can see that this is actually a variable but this is an integer type of variable but this is a reference so this is how you can call a local variable to store reference type from a method and here uh, if we see that this add benefit method is returning a reference and this is also taking employee salary as a reference type so if we execute this method here and after that if we store this in gross variable and we are adding 20 to this gross variable after that we are doing console right line and printing out the variables now let's run our code and see how it looks like so here we can see the salary and the gross is actually same and the bonus is 500 and if we come back to our code we can see that the bonus was set to 500 but it didn't got updated when we add 100 here as it wasn't a reference type but whereas the employee salary was 5000 but when we added the bonus here it got updated and not only that when we added a 20 here in the gross it also affected the salary cause this gross was reference local type of variable which was actually storing this salary reference so here we can see the values were changed according to this reference type of objects 